Honey, I'm home. <laughs> oh, oh, cup of tea. Thank you very much. We are home on Lady Penny Bun, as you can see. Very maybe. good to be back. Yes, it is. <laughs> we had the best time. Um, so we're going to run, we haven't practiced this obviously, as, as you ever, can tell, yeah. as ever. <laughs> this is going to be probably 20 minutes of absolute nonsense. Yes, but stick with us, we're going to be just talking about our plans, how it went, give you a brief overview of sort of what happened at the end, because it does probably feel like if you're watching along, and we really hope you were, that the series sort of just stopped a little bit. It did. Um, yeah. It did, yeah. I'm just going to check the microphone's on. We on? Yeah, we're on. Okay, so... I've written down some questions that I've sort of been asked a couple of times in on Instagram and some of our um, some of the questions on the videos. We didn't want to do a and a we just wanted to like sort of give you a lowdown of what we did, where we are now and what's going to happen. What Is that doing. fair to say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So run through the trip. I would say it's one of the best trips we've ever had in our life. Easily two of the best months of my life. Yeah. For sure. Just the physical challenge, the new countries as well. Yeah. Um, just being physically exhausted, just exciting as well. That it, Churro Trail was amazing. Yeah, we, I think just the first day, even like just when we got to Milan, we had nowhere to be other than the wedding, which was in two months. Like, we're like, it doesn't matter how long it takes us, you know. Obviously, we did have a bit of a time frame which we didn't end up sticking to, and that's sort of why we ended up doing what we did. Yeah, um, but yeah, it was just incredible. Like you said, I've never really done anything physical before, like, not you to know, both extent. of our jobs. We haven't got physical jobs, you know, so to be able to do that and to be able to keep up with it, like I'm really proud of what we did. Like we didn't stick to the plan that we made originally, but we still had the best time and yeah. we, we didn't want to rush countries. So that's mm -hmm. why we didn't go to Albania and Montenegro. Yeah. So they're, they're two that we would have loved to have done, but we wouldn't have been able to do them justice in a time frame. Yeah. And they were two of the most mountainous bits of the yeah. trip. And it's just a risk we've missed the wedding. Then the whole trip's pointless. Yeah. So, yeah, we had an amazing time. So we chose, if you've seen our last video, we chose to go across to Italy. We went to Puglia, which is the region we absolutely love. And we would love to buy a house in one day. Yeah. So we just, that really concreted it for us that it, that is where we want to live yeah. um, in the future. Obviously not yet, but that is where we want to spend the rest of our life at some point. Yeah. Um, and it was just nice to concrete that because it feels like a pipe dream, like something that we've been dreaming of. But yeah, it was just really nice to go back and see it and With actually a fresh pair of eyes as well, because last yeah. time we went was during COVID um, and a lot of the things were shut and there was not many tourists at all, if any tourists yeah, in some of the towns. None. So we went back and the towns were bustling and we probably loved it even more than when yeah. we first went. We were just worried that we'd be put off by the amount of tourists, but yeah. genuinely, no, it's just yeah, yeah. falling even deeper so make sure it. you go back and watch that we also had a video back in 2020 of that region mm. before it was starting to rain a bit more yeah. do you reckon we'll be alright? I think it'll be alright we'll be okay I could do a wash anyway um, so yeah so we went to Puglia we cycled a little bit of there I hope you can't hear the rain too much <laughs> we're getting quite wet now um, and then we got across to Greece we then got a hire car down to the wedding um, because we just wanted to spend more time in Puglia, that's the region we really loved. We had about 10 days there overall. We and actually went across oh, to the other coast. I'm getting really wet. We went across the other coast and we spent about a week there, which we didn't film. We just sort of, you know, dotted yeah. about before we did that cycling part. We tell them that we sort of went a bit of house hunting, but we got to wait a couple of years before we can afford it. Yeah, them. it was just a bit of a like dream, wasn't it, <laughs> to go there and have a look at some of these houses. So yeah. we did do that. Um, so when we got to Greece, we then actually got a hire car down to the wedding. We've discovered, although we did uh, America last year, and we got lots of hire cars, and we dropped it from one place to another. It was just too pretty a backdrop. To yeah, it's gonna really ruin it now. Oh, we're still lit up. A bit too lit up, if anything. Well, That's not the right <sighs> lighting. <laughs> Get warm, eh? Oh, I should shut that window. What That's about it. sitting in here? All right. Yeah. Still live. Still, still rolling. Still live. So I was saying, when we were in America, we got lots of hire cars, and we went from A to B, and we didn't drop off in the same place. But Europe's a little bit different, and because some of the countries we were going in weren't EU and different regulations and stuff, it was a lot more expensive to drop the hire car off in a different location, in a different yeah. location. So. We made the decision to get the hire car in Greece when we got there and drop it off. So our ultimate, the end goal was to end in Athens, but we actually just drove there and saw it for a couple of days. We had our first year anniversary there, which ooh, was lovely. Ooh. And then we drove back to drop the car 
In the north, yeah. Yeah. Right next to Corfu. And then we went and stayed with my auntie for a couple of days because she lives in Corfu. She Thanks, moved out, out there when she was like 20 or something. Been out there for years. And that's the first time I've ever been to her house. So that was really yeah. nice. So we did that. And we could also then fly back to Bristol, which Direct. was quite important to yeah. us because that's the airport closest to us. And we had the bike. So it wasn't yeah. as easy as getting on a mega bus or anything like that with the bikes because it was just an absolute nightmare. Yeah. And it was a nightmare. Yeah. I forgot how tragic it was in Milan. Yeah. So yeah, had a really good time. Oh, also the wedding was amazing, wasn't it? Our friend's mm. wedding. Well done, Bob and Paris. Like the Congrats. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, really, really nice. Spend time with our friends, just be away. Lovely food, lovely celebration. Week-long hangover. Yeah. New record. <laughs> so that brings us up to now. So that was ultimately why we sort of didn't do those countries. And cut it short as well. Yeah, we cut it bit. short a little bit. Yeah, so also we were going to carry on the trip um, when we finished the wedding, didn't we? Yeah. But then we just saw money-wise and being sensible, we've got the van still to finish, yeah. which is going to be next on the priority list. We, next week's video is all about us moving back onto the boat and getting this livable again, yeah. which we'll show you next week. After that, we'll probably be focusing on getting the van ready. Now, so the van's destiny is still unknown. Yeah. There's We'd hope to utilise it a bit more this summer, but now our priority is getting away in the boat, which is what we should have done probably a couple of years ago. It's going to be our biggest journey now. So the van might, if we do keep it, um, it's just going to be sat for like another year and it's just a waste. It's an and older van to be sat there like for another year. They, they like, just don't like sitting around. We wanted to go away on this trip in Europe in the van and obviously that didn't end up happening. And we're really glad, you know, mm. I'm so glad that we've done the cycling, but we don't know if we can afford to just keep it sat around for a year. Yeah. So it might be that we... You know, finish it, go away maybe for a week or a weekend, and then we do look at selling it, which yeah. isn't isn't what we wanted to do. But we do need to be sensible about things like you know we haven't got a money pot, or no. you know we just can't afford to lose any money on it essentially. Um, so yeah, destiny of Vincent is still unknown, but yeah, it's, sorry if our videos are a bit all over the place for like the next month or so. We are going to be trying to focus on the van, but also we are going to be. In that time frame, we are also going to be moving to Bristol to go in the harbour, which will yeah. then finish the end of the K&A. Uh, we'll be celebrating my birthday there. And then we will be coming constant cruises. We'll be giving up our mooring. And yeah, that's our what biggest, we plan to do for the next six months or so. Biggest and longest journey. Yeah, six months of continuous cruising. Yeah. Starting then, from yeah the very far west end of the K&A and then going all the way up to London. But for now, we're going to be constant cruising, focusing on the van, aren't we? And then, Get the van finished. And then, yeah, just be living on the boat, hopefully. Just slow living, want to get up to London, see some of our friends. And there's so much to explore. see on the way as well. Yeah. yeah, like, just so excited now. I think we've gone away and we do really want to live in Italy one day, but, like, coming back here and just coming onto the boat, it's just so nice to, like, it really does feel like home. It's our home in England. Even when we do get a place in Italy, hopefully, um, we can still only do three months, so it would likely be three months in our homestead three months on the boat, three months homestead, three what months. What a dream. Yeah. What a life that would I think, be. Yeah, because you imagine escaping. The winter's never that nice on a boat. I know you guys like seeing everyone suffer on a narrow boat over winter with the cold. We and... don't enjoy it. No, we so like to, being warm. to escape to a warmer country for three yeah. months would be... Mm, and then enjoy three months lovely summer here on the boat. Yeah. And yeah, just... I think it would suit us down to a T. Definitely. The, the, the problem with a boat for me is just not having your own land. And there are moorings that you can buy, but they're like rare as... Rocking horse. So That's yeah, so we're just funny. like absolutely loving being back on the boat. Yeah. Can't wait for you to see it next week. Just us settling back in, doing our, just going about our life really on our little narrow boat. Um, we've definitely got a couple jobs. I know a lot of you are always asking when we're going to finish off the boat. There's obviously things that we still need to do. We want to put the doors in. We want yeah, to. Paint. Joe wants to redo the electrics. We want to paint the back. Paint the back deck. Yeah. yeah. Rewire all of that bit in nice. So there's lots to do. It won't just be continuous cruising. Yeah, it'll be it'll quite be, a bit to do. It, yeah, it'll be job maintenance as well. Alongside constant cruising. Yeah. If we get into it, maybe we could do two videos a week and do one doing boat bits and then one just being constant oh, yeah, cruises. Yeah, yeah. Easy, mate. Easy. Maybe. <laughs> But yeah, that's where we're at right now. Uh, let us know in the comments if you've got any questions or anything that we can answer. Um, but yeah, just thought this would sort of catch you up to speed with what's been happening and why that sort of ended and where we're at yeah. now. So for everyone that's been commenting every week, when are you going back to the boat? If you don't start watching these boat videos, I'm... On to you. Yeah. And we'll see you 
next week. See you next week. For moving where back on the boat. You get to see what's this all about. <sighs> State of that. Thank you, patrons, as well. Thank you so much. We love you all. Bye.